Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching All oh, Snap, the political vigilante making Gotham great again. Oh, the Democrats cannot wait to get into a war with Russia in the Ukraine. Boy, this country loves a proxy war. They just love, we just love war, war, war. But Graham, isn't, isn't Putin horrible? Yeah, yeah. Um, Putin all has said is I don't want more NATO bases on my borders, which I think he has the right to ask for. We would not allow Russian bases in Mexico or Canada or in the Caribbean. There's no way we would allow that. And yet we've surrounded Russia with bases. And we want to put American bases on the Ukraine. That is the, that is what he, and he's like, no. And all we, and the Western media, and I've done videos on this. The Western media is just like, oh, Putin bad. And Western media is rushing, ramping this up so much so that the Ukrainian president said, you guys, the Western media, you're, you're creating the tension here. Well, here's more tension. Democrats are rushing through a massive Ukraine defense bill. The House of Representatives is looking to skip markup and hold a floor vote as soon as next week. God, we couldn't get this for Medicare for all. Jimmy Dore, my longtime friend who I do not agree with on his vaccine or his mandate stance or his stance on Rittenhouse. I don't agree on any of those things, but we're still friends. We can disagree and still be friends. All he was pushing for, and all of us that supported force the vote, was just move to a floor vote for Medicare for all. Force the vote. We can't seem to get mad. We can't always. Oh, it's just too complicated. It's a performative act. But boy, when there's war money to be spent, man, it just happens like that. How are we going to pay for this? No one's asked. How are we going to pay for this? They want. I'm going to show you five hundred million dollars. This is from the Intercept. Five hundred million dollars just to go to the Ukraine for war. Having a tough time paying your bills because business is like half or 20% of what it was, even though things are kind of opened up, maybe where you live, your business is struggling. There's no more stimulus money for you. Maybe you're behind on your rent for your home or your business. And there's no money for you, but we got money to, to send Ukraine war. Oh God, money for war. We always got money for war. House of Representatives are planning to expedite a massive bill that would dramatically increase U.S. security assistance to Ukraine and lay the groundwork for substantial new sanctions on Russia. Can't get a floor vote for Medicare for all, but man, Pelosi and the gang snap into action. And the Progressive Caucus, which couldn't do anything, the squad couldn't do anything for Medicare for all. They couldn't do force the vote. They just got mad, said Jimmy Dore was too mean. He was too angry and too mean. But man, we can go destroy people's lives in another part of the world, not help Americans, and destroy other people's lives. So we can fuck two people, home and, and abroad, we can fuck people over. Isn't that fantastic? House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Democrat from California, told members on a caucus call Tuesday that she's looking to skip marking up the bill and move it straight to the House floor. So it is easy. So we can do it. <laughs> so we can figure this out. Setting up the possibility for a vote as soon as early next week. This is how the space for non-military options gets slowly closed off in Washington without any real debate. One of the sources, a senior Democratic aide said to The Intercept, and they remained anonymous. The legislation would send $500 million from the Foreign Military Financing Program to Ukraine for 2020, back in, in, in 2022. In 2020, we gave the Ukraine $248 million. So we're basically doubling it. Gee, I wonder what defense contractor lobbyists are in Washington right now saying, push it, push it, push it. Because all this is aid... What does aid do? Well, that means Ukraine's going to buy weaponry from, take a guess, all the all the regulars, the whole gang, everybody over at Boeing and Raytheon and Northrop Grumman and that whole crowd. They're, they're like, we could double our money. Let's ramp up. Putin's bad. And let's only have one narrative in the Western media. 
the BBC, which is state-controlled media, state-run media, British state-run media, BBC, and corporate media, the corporate state media is what America is. We have the, that's the corporate state media. We've shown you Raytheon has bought ad time on MSNBC and all the networks, right? That's what's pushing this. And this, the fact that they couldn't do force, remember a year ago, we were saying force the vote, force the vote for Medicare for all. We could all have Medicare a year later. We could all have Medicare. We can't do it. The squad couldn't do it. They're useless. The progressive caucus in the democratic party is useless. There's a hundred, almost a hundred members in the, in the progressive caucus in Congress. They could say, well, Medicare for all is a progressive platform. I thought. So this reminds me like when I was in high school and I would goof around a lot and get, I would get B's and C's and the teachers would be mad. You know, I'd goof off in class. I was a class clown and my parent teacher, my mom would always be so mad. Like Graham, you know, you just like, and my grades weren't great, but they were, you know, I was good enough to play football. My parents were like, how do we motivate this kid to get good grades? We know how smart he is. We, why? And then, so they put this fear into you in my high school, junior year, you got to get good grades to, to get into a good Scott college. So I just said, all right. And one semester I got all A's. I got all A's. And I thought my mom would get off my back and she goes, Oh, so you can do this. And I was like, oh boy. So this isn't like it's too hard. You can't figure it out or you, oh, the, the, you got a learning disability. You don't have to, what, what, what are you talking about? You got all A's. You know what? I was like, Ugh. it was like, you just flipped a switch and got all A's. So you can do this. And I was like, oh man, this is what I say to the democratic party. Oh, so you can force the vote just for war money. So the Democrats can force the vote for war, but not Medicare for all. But boy, we, we got to line up with what's going, the, the, the leaders in the Ukraine, because they're freedom fighters against the evil Putin. Oh shit, they're Nazis. Whoops. The CIA may be breeding Nazi terror in Ukraine. This is from Jacobin. The CIA has been secretly training anti-Russian groups in Ukraine since 2015. Everything no, we know points to the likelihood that they include neo-Nazis inspiring far-right terrorists across the world. This was recently. This was a couple of weeks ago in Jacobin. Here's something from The Nation in 2018. Americans' collusion with neo-Nazis. Neo-fascists play an important official or tolerated role in U.S.-backed Ukraine. I've shown you on this show, Biden, when he was vice president under Obama, meeting with Ukrainian military leaders that had like neo-Nazi insignias on them. <laughs> so we can't force the vote for Medicare for all, but we can force the vote for more war spending and give it to Nazis. Jeez. Yeah, but they're better than Trump. How? how? Trump's a flat-out Nazi. A lot of those people that stormed the Capitol on January 6th were Nazis, but we're also giving money to Nazis in the Ukraine. <laughs> oh, that's right. America's always been backing Nazis. American corporations backed, uh, backed the Nazis in Germany in the 30s because it was good for business. Operation Paperclip brought ex-Nazis to this country after World War II to work in our space program and our weapons program. We have I've talked about Operation Bloodstone on government secrets, where we went into Soviet-controlled countries after in the 50s and and got Nazis in there to, to try to undermine the communists. We've been backing Nazis to undermine communists since, since the 30s. Oh, so if you're having a hard time paying your bills, your health insurance is through the roof, or you don't have health insurance, or you're just behind because of COVID or whatever, you're just barely getting by and you're in debt up to your eyeballs, you're working two, three jobs, just rest easy. Pelosi and the gang, they're going to send $500 million. $500 million to the Ukraine. That's just this year. It was 250 the couple of years back. So $750 million just in the last two years. 
That's a little over two dollars an American. We each each American could just get two bucks, two dollars and twenty five cents or whatever, whatever seven hundred and fifty million is divided by three hundred and thirty million Americans. <laughs> Gee, I want we can't. we should all have free health care. We should have been given free health care in the middle of a we're we're in the sec we're in two years and we're coming up on the two year anniversary of this pandemic shutting this country down. Two years. We can't get free health care in the middle of a pandemic, but the Ukraine can get money for some bullshit proxy war or whatever. We can we got money to back Nazis in the Ukraine because we don't we can't handle Putin just having the right to protect his own citizens. Awesome. Vote any blue will do. Yeah, money for Nazis when you vote for the Democrats. I mean, that's that's why the Democrats are better. The Republicans are just flat out Nazis. You just are Nazis and you're just giving them, but at least the Democrats funnel their money through some other country to, to, to Nazis. I mean, that's better. That's That's literally, I bet you there's a liberal watching this making that argument. Hey, Graham, at least the Democrats don't flat out support. I mean, they sideways, but it's better than. Yeah, it's right. The lesser of two evils is still evil. That's why in the next election, I'm voting for Ted Bundy over Jeffrey Dahmer, because at least Bundy didn't eat his victims. Sure, he brutally murdered women and cut up their bodies and was a psychopath that represented him as a serial killer. But he didn't. I mean, he didn't eat the victims like Jeffrey Dahmer. So Bundy. Ted Bundy, 2024. Follow the money, connect the dots, get the truth, shave your knuckles for justice. Boom. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. We are still in our like ninth month of demonetization from YouTube. So support what we're doing at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood, which is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. It's free to sign up and there's a premium level at $10 a month. And for that, you get everybody on the platform's premium content. Myself, Lee Camp, Ron Placone, Jimmy Dore, Whitney Webb, Kim Iverson, Abby Martin, and many, many others. You can also support what we're doing at Venmo at Graham-Elwood and go to GrahamElwood.com. We have a PayPal button and a PO box. I also have crypto wallets, which are all in the show notes. Thanks for supporting what we do.